Greetings brothers, this is Rostam and today we got the first game of the Elite League Division A playoffs. And uh, this game is between Dark Riku playing on the bottom lane as the Apothecary uh, kind of a supporter hero has a little bit of control as well with the uh, customized Storm Bolter and uh, Riku going for tactical marine sending apo to the left side sending the scout to the right side and his opponent is best new playing as the mech with another kind of a supporter hero starts in range and stays in range can't get av and best noob is going for the requisition point normal capping for uh, best noob as well he goes also for the double shooter boys and dark riku also for the double scouts sending the apothecary alone to the left side tactical marines to the middle and uh, scouts are just gonna find out that there's a make boy perhaps and they're just gonna go to the tactical marines meanwhile make boy just capping Best noob know that this and goes for one generator. Sending the shoot boys to the left side. Maybe he wants a unit first in the field. Some storm boys. Well, um, I guess a storm boys is, is, is nice and uh, upgrades on the shooter boys is really good. Okay, uh, shooter boys just retreating before losing models. And uh, we see that Riku, the cool kids club. <laughs> Gathering all of their units in one place, as is the meta these days. Yeah, best noob just capping the map though on the right side, and his slugger is going for the middle. This shooter is just buying some times, eventually uh, retreating. And now, tactical marines are gonna find out slugger boys alongside the scout squad, especially going for the shotguns. They're gonna do a uh, good job here versus sluggers. I imagine best noob doesn't want to lose models on these boys uh yeah could have retreated a bit sooner but uh, okay loses three models very good engagement for riku he lost the right side of the map but uh managed to cap the left side and played a couple of models but now here comes the storm boys so uh apothecary versus the make boy i guess um Make boy and the Barbas are okay versus these Space Marines. Uh, perhaps Kane up the least. Um, I'm interested to see this matchup actually, about Gary versus Make boy. But yeah, this is a good map. Um, a couple of garrison around. Um, it's a big map for the Make boy. Can teleport around, but it's also good for the Apothecary, I guess. Space Marines aren't um, a fast race by nature, so uh, I guess this map would do fine. And uh, here comes the storm boys. Nah, the obvious choice would be the shotgun scouts. And uh, is Riku going for another tactical marine? Because devastators are going to be countered by this and the mech boy. And um, the assault squad actually are going to be hurt <laughs> versus the slugger boys, the storm boys, and also possible. Me yeah. He has the battle pack, but he goes for the assault squad. They are good versus the shooters. He can support them with the apothecary, but um, I actually don't know how well it's gonna work. Uh, uh, when I face the, this this kind of build versus or say some okay maybe double tax double uh, shotgun and scout squads perhaps, but uh, yeah, let's see how assault squad are gonna work. Perhaps with the purification right as well. Okay, Basin just uh, finishes the node and the generator here and is gonna go back. And for his shooter boys, he has gone. Okay, the, one of the shooter boys is basically a capper at the moment. The other has the big shooters. More durability, good damage, and. Uh, yeah. Okay, he goes for double knob leaders, yeah. He, he likes the leaders. He, he likes more durability than damage than going for the big shooters. Anyway, he can go for that in tier 2. And uh, really good amount of pressure from Best Noob. Riku has the salt squad though. Jump. Not a good jump here. Uh, okay, gets uh, two shooters. But uh, here comes the Storm Boys and the Slugger Boys. Especially with the Mech Boys supporting. Yeah, this is Assault Squad are gonna be in trouble. Purification rights, yeah, he has it. 
It's gonna help out a lot. Yeah. Although <laughs> the Megboy Battery Pack neutralizes that. Yeah. See how hurt these assault uh, assault squads are. Yeah, attacks are also forced off the field. He also goes for Devastators. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, it's gonna help out in tier 2 as well, versus possible uh, war trucks and stuff like that. Uh, so he, he's buy basically buying units with his requisition in the field because uh, he, has, he hasn't had a good power control. Dark Riku. He hasn't had good power, so uh, he's just going for more units, but in tier 2, he's gonna be out -ticked. Uh, At this point, he's definitely out uh, getting out -ticked. Not having... Um, and he knows that. Yeah. Shotguns are really good versus orcs, and if you combine that with the double tactical marines, they have a lot of range firepower, just... Uh, you can evade the storm boys and play with them and uh, the shotgun and scouts and the apothecary amplification rights but mm, assault squad i don't know especially versus make boy and war boss especially war boss if he goes for bang bang ammo or stuff like that to um buff the storm boys and the slugger boys with the burners especially anyway uh, deploying flamers and riku knowing that he's out picked and he ha has to bash the power he ha at this point, he has to bash the power. Tries uh, an attempt uh, to uh, destroy this generator from our Although the, the this is not a good timing because uh, Best Noob is here with his whole army. And uh, yeah, Mekko teleporting forward. Stormo is uh, jumping into the Devastators. Mekko might be going down. Uh, no, Apothecary is gonna go down instead. Didn't lose the banner pack, uh, used the banner pack because uh, he was just uh, fighting Mechboy. Mm, okay, Assault Squad jumping perhaps uh, one model on these, no. Okay, so it's gonna be a good uh, power bash attempt. Some uh, more Daka usage on the Shooter Boys, but uh, yeah, ni nicely done by Riku, come on. Destroy this and 175 for the uh, Laramans blessing. Uh, okay, decent power bash attempt. Uh, destroyed three generators. That's very good. Although lost the apothecary though. Assault squad losing one model. Oh, two models. <laughs> oh wow, Mechboy just snatching one by his shooter boy. That that was a little bit unlucky. Like uh, their escape was lucky, but uh, getting uh, losing another model on retreat was a little bit unlucky with the make boy shooting. 342 to 454, and um, there's a one to one at the moment. VP is in the favor of Dark Riku, but uh, yeah, he's definitely out tech and best of economy is good despite losing that uh, power farm. He has bash power himself a little bit and. Uh, Dr. Kwa has a lot of upkeep as well. He has kept some requisition points. So, uh, these flamers are good versus the shooters. They are okay versus the storm boys and slugger boys. Uh, obviously, those have, I think, flame resistance, but uh, still doing some damage. The capper scout squad without any uh, upgrades here. The other dudes only with the shotgun. And uh, Riku has to go here too soon, so he's not gonna buy anything. He has a full power farm though. Okay, so good control by Riku here, good control. Definitely can come back to this game. Make boy level 2. Yeah, definitely with the assault squad kill. Assault model kill, not the squad. Okay, uh, so Devastators, you see, just they stay way way back because uh, if you uh, take them forward uh, it's gonna be stone boys and the make boy although uh, you can just um, what's this <laughs> you you can just uh, protect the devastators with the shotguns when the stone boys just jump them but uh, normally you want to keep them back and out of the danger it's gonna be a uh, good power match again and in tier 2 I assume it's gonna be a war truck for best new. But especially since he's known as the Chimera boy, likes Chimeras and uh, transports. 
Uh, Stormo is uh, jumping into the blob and a uh, nice purification rise in the assault squad. Nice power match attempt. Flamer just roasting these orcs. Level two. Uh, nice jump here. Okay, really good, con uh, really good comeback by Apot uh, by uh, Apothecary by Riku. Did he rebuy the Apothecary? Yeah, he rebought the Apothecary, but. Uh, uh, at this point, Riku's apothecary, uh, Riku's uh, economy is okay, I guess. Levels here, Le level two tax. Wow, well, level two tax. He lost his uh, Capper Scout Squad, but uh, it's okay. He has bled the orcs a lot. Stormboys are level two. Yeah, Space Marines have a little bit uh, more experience on them. Slugger boys, with the Slugger Knob Leader, are nasty. Uh oh, I hear Stormboys. The state were just uh, barely escaping away. And here comes the Storm Boys Knob Leader. Oh wow. Okay, good heal here. Assault Squad retreating. Uh, lots of model kills. Okay, not, maybe not that much. One model on each. Three models dead. Uh, but more important, he has lost his Capper Scout Squad. And uh, Riku needs that for mob for map control because he obviously has a devastator so less mobility there in the field although he has a triple cap at the moment to recoup finally going tier 2 in tier 2 i assume it's going to be the sergeant for the assault squad maybe some tactical drop pods with the sun guard veterans i really do like the uh, double tags in this matchup he goes for a razorback first okay okay Razorback is good versus orcs, uh, more mobility and uh, yeah, generally you can combine them with the missile tags or just uh, the standard veterans to go after the vehicles. Uh, although I do not like the missile tags that much, sometimes you have to get them. The standard seems more like uh, like a more reasonable choice though. Okay, best noob is staying in the cover, being annoying. <laughs> Stone boys. Jumping into the Devastators. Scouts losing one model. Still not having the Sergeant. Nice purification right. And the Assault Squad going after the Stone Boys. But the Stone Boys in Tier 2 are really nasty. And they do have the better pack support of the Mech Boy. A really good micro but by uh, Best Loop Man. His micro is really good. Definitely those are uh, Korean jeans. Yeah. Okay, so uh, in tier two, uh, he comes back hard. Like uh, that's what she said. <laughs> Best noobs <laughs> comes back hard and uh, destroys the whole power power farm. Takes the map control, gets the double cap, and bleeds the space marines a little bit. And uh, yeah, now goes for a war truck. These two knob leaders, level two slugger boys and level two storm boys. Yeah, Riku definitely uh, needs some Stengard veterans, I think. Okay, so it's gonna be Truckbusters versus the uh, Razorback. It doesn't have a ma uh, power farm though, SD. So uh, that's something. And uh, those setters capping, not ideal, but okay. I assume Flamer attacks, yep. Inside the uh, Razorback. And some scouts just to cap. Yeah, good mobility there, good map control for the map control not good map control okay so it's gonna be librarian uh to tom of time something i guess well, but, uh, yeah that that lone tactical model <laughs> was left out okay cult of speed and tank monsters inside i assume devastators yeah not ideal more daca on the uh yeah tank monsters is really good man like the oh god this Razorback is dead. Yeah, really nice combo. Look at that micro. More deck on the tank busters and uh, board truck just deploying <laughs> the tank busters with the more deck and uh, cult of speed as well. Used by the uh, by best new on this board truck. Really nicely done. Yeah, how, how can you compete versus that? Assault squad going for the thunder and lightning, the melt -up bomb. And uh, he's going for a last gun. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, versus war truck, uh, it's obviously gonna take care of the war truck, but maybe an overkill there, man. 
Um, although librarian can support them, yeah, some vengeance rounds would suffice, perhaps with a Stangar veterans vengeance rounds. And yeah, look at that. These last cannons are poo poo. And here comes the slugger boys. No, there's no sluggers. Yeah, they are tank busters. Yeah, the, uh, the, this has tank busters inside of it. This war truck. War truck. War truck. WH. I have heard the voice of power. Um, I also do not know about the librarian. Obviously, he has the he has it to uh, support the devastators. These tanks are leveled up pretty nice. That flamer, mostly because of bashing generators. The assault squad jumping and engines of death. I, I like this usage, but not enough, especially with the war truck just uh, reinforcing everything. Although war, war truck might be going down. Ah, uh, yeah, goes down. Okay, that's good. Good on Riku, and uh, these forces just uh, cannot fight out versus these orcs. Yeah, the storm boys jumping back. Okay, they did uh, a decent job though with the librarian in here and also apothecary helping a little bit. Apothecary might be no, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, good engagement for Riku. I did not expect that. He took out the war truck and uh, yeah. Apothecary is getting Laraman Blessing. Uh, I did not expect that, but um, in the end, I think good engagement here for Dark Riku. Stone Boys are level 3 though, and the Slugger Boys are near level 3, so uh, that's gonna be bad. Unless you get level 4 Scouts. Uh, uh, scouts finally do have their Sergeant. 119 to 298. Uh, none of the players, these two players, have a uh, Good power. Uh, I guess Pestnoob has okay power. It replaces one generator. Blood axes, by the way. I think, yeah. No, Freebooters, sorry. Freebooters DLC. Assault Squad jumping. Uh, Assault Squad aren't leveled up, but they have killed a little bit. And, uh, yeah, they're forced on the field. They mostly have a struggled. Okay, Riku is forced of the field. Yeah, this is such a nasty army, level 3. And also near level 3. The Storm Boy is basing no time. Jumping to uh, decap this power point. And these dudes are going for the victory points. Last cannon just now useless. It's gonna be on capping duty. Capping the victory point there. But I think he needs... Uh, Requisition on power Riku because look at that best is going tier 3 and uh, Come anything from a commandos to a looter tank is gonna be uh, really bad for Riku in tier 3 Maybe even not Riku going for devastator plasma cannon, okay uh, I guess this excess requisition is gonna be in there Assault squad uh, I don't remember Riku purchasing their sergeant on the assault squad. Mm. Sanguine chainsword on the apple. Yeah. Lack of um, assault. Okay, he goes for assault marine sergeant. Maybe he had it and lost it. Assault marine sergeant. I do not remember that. But anyway, he purchases it now, and uh, it's gonna be a little bit better. Makes life a little bit easier versus the storm boys. I didn't see any uh, merciless strikes. To be honest, that that would have helped. That would have helped. Uh, ooh, mega rumbler. Okay, it's gonna be bad. I smell something nasty coming from Best Noob. Yikes. Grandfather Nurgle. Okay, uh, Apothecary heal these dudes, perhaps, yeah, for the knockback. Although those are sluggers. Come on, Assault Marines, do the thing. And, uh, no, you cannot do that because here comes Mega Rumbler. Okay, the Stormboys that do lose their, uh, Knob Leader, unfortunately, Mega Rumbler for Riku comes into play. Uh, he doesn't lose the Assault Marines. Only one model remaining. Oh, wow. Lost three models, including the Sergeant. That's bad. 
This noob is near uh, yeah, Luta Tank. And Luta Tank is gonna be destroying this uh, Space Marine army so hard. Apo level 3, what level is Mako? Level 4 without any weaponry. Respect. Okay, uh, so these dudes going for the left side. Um, obviously, Riku has the victory points, but doesn't have uh, a good economy, and he's. Uh, yeah, his experiences aren't as good as uh, best news. Even shooters, uh, best news shooters are leveled up. Pretty nice. And yeah, here comes the looter tank. 400, 100, and um, yeah, this army of Riku is gonna cry soon. Apothecary going forward. These poor dudes are still without the sergeant because they lost it. And Fication Rice, perhaps. A uh, smite. Apothecary is gonna be okay though if it goes down because it's gonna be Laramant. Yeah, look at how useless these assault squad are. Yeah, gonna get Laramant. Okay, plasma cannons are decent, but not when they are getting jumped at by these stone boys. And. Oh god, these assault boys. Assault boys! <laughs> Are screwed up. Uh, Riku looks like he's going for the victory points. He's going for the victory points victory condition. Alien assaults. Yeah, Riku just bleeding a lot of stuff here. I haven't seen Librarian doing Tom of Time on the Plasma Cannon. Uh, perhaps he can do that. Assault Squad uh, doing the uh, reinforcing. Yeah, this is definitely tier 2 for Riku. He still has the last cannon versus the Luta tank, but Luta tank is gonna have support, and obviously, as a tank, has the range and can also be healed by the Mechboy Batter Pack, although Mechboy is having fun with the uh, Mega Rumbler. Shooter's going for the right side, 59 to 210, but. Um, yeah, best is gonna go for um, for a more defensive option, I think, for the more defensive works, uh, protecting these two victory points, I guess. Sending something to the left side once in a while. Riku still ha doesn't have uh, any power, has only one power point. Blamer dudes going for the right side. Perhaps they can snatch the victory point from in here. Level 3 Apothecary, okay. So this Librarian is obviously gonna tome of time these Devastators, but... Uh, I guess Stoneboys and Slugobots are gonna um, just um, approach forward sooner than that. Tankbuster is not reinforcing, obviously. Because uh, they're kind of useless at this stage. Without any vehicles in the field from Riku's side. Okay, uh, Riku just goes forward, uh, Librarian going for the decap, so he cannot tome off time that. Oof. Plasma cannon shot. Okay, did uh, get the decap. And yeah, Stone Boy is jumping in, obviously, to the Devastator Marines. Mega Rumbler though, yeah, this, yeah, Riku has to retreat away. Riku has the victory points, so he shouldn't be that hasty, yeah. Plasma cannon, bye bye. Getting chopped out that by the uh, stone boys. Yeah, he's, he has capped it. He has the two to zero cap, but uh, yeah, best of is just gonna stay in here with his hand cut. Oof, Look at that! That one shot did so much damage to the tax, and these tax are dead. Oh no, Slugger boy is in retreat path. Didn't catch the tax, and a second looted tank. Yeah. Things just went from bad to shit for Riku. Tank Buster with ta literally Tank Buster. Yeah, it's just gonna throw it away. Who cares? Got double looted tanks anyway. Back by level 5. Uh, switches back to the um, battery pack to support those vehicles. The uh, git, git sauce, git juice, have a taste, yeah, it's gonna have a taste the uh, looter tank, if looter tank is hurt, 
also has extra armor plating, 850 HP. The best tank versus infantry and versus blobs, which Riku has a lot. Okay, uh, I hear a drop pod somewhere. Yeah, here. Yeah. More tactical marines is probably going for a standard veteran. Does have enough power? Has a little bit of power there. Is he going for a missile launcher? Hmm. Okay, going uh, this side. Come on, take the cover. Versus Be Bestum Superior Micro. Okay, this tactical is getting. Ah, oh, look at this damage. Look at this damage, man. But here comes the Stone Boys. These blue tanks getting lance cannons, but no worries. Stone Boys are there. Assault Squad going after its luggage. Oh no, level 4 its luggage. Ah, call the boys. <laughs> call the boys. This boy is coming from nowhere. Yeah, and good luck dealing with the double looter tanks and the level 4 sluggers and the mech boy just supporting the stuff. They do lose their knob leader, but yeah. Salt got real. Uh, okay. They do lose uh, two models. Libby also retreated. Uh, Apothecary is just gonna stay in here and die and get Laraman again. Use your red like that, I guess. These are gonna be Stengar veteran. Uh, Riku has a little bit of time, but yeah, his his main problem is the uh, one of the shooters go down. By the way, his main problem is just Stone Boys it's constantly um, jumping into the last cannon, and even a last cannon. But what is a last cannon gonna do versus double uh, armored uh, reinforced plating? Luther tank supported by uh, Make Boy with. Uh, Battery pack and just repairing, and mech we can just teleport forward. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. Okay, Stengar veterans. These are gonna get Tom of Time. And uh, yeah, Riku knows that he cannot approach this middle lane. Definitely cannot, and goes for the right lane. Just wants to buy time here, Dark Riku. Okay, Flamers going for uh, the decap. These Flamers have been cappers at some point. Perhaps a missile launcher at this point even. With the sergeant on them. Ooh, okay. Uh, he gets the shooter boys, but the important units are the stone boys. Okay, good good approach here from Riku. Good approach, really good approach. And melt a bomb. Oh, God. really good uh, engagement here from Riku. Just positioning the uh, Stengard Vetsers, the last cannon really well. And the Stormboy is nearly going down here. No, Vetsman doesn't want to lose the Stormboy. It's another uh, usage of... Uh... Ah, the Stengards are going to go down. No. Okay, takes care of the Luther tank. Okay, really good engagement here by Riku. Uh, but that's... Uh... Oh, wow. The Stormboy is even going down. Best of doing the uh, Mega Rumble. Suddenly, Riku just... Came back hard to this game. Came back hard. That's what she said. Anyway, cult of speed on the make boy. Although best noob is gonna have the triple cap, teleporting away with the Mekki. Wow, Riku just did the impossible with uh, a good microing on the uh, standard veterans. Really helped, man. Really helped. Really a smart play, just not to go for there. Okay, goes for the decap and it's gonna be commandos. It's gonna be commandos for best new. Does he have time though? He has only seven victory points. Only seven victory points. Can he take the game? <laughs> I'm just gonna take the game. Two to one. Okay, really close. 19 to seven. Bestie has a looter tank though. This this looter tank is gonna help. Out. Wow, he, he lost the storm boys. Really, really, really needed the storm boys. Here comes the last cannon, and uh, the struggle boys are in the left side, period. Okay, ni nice uh, teleporting forward, make boy with the uh, custom force field, and uh, yeah, but just 180, 180 change. 
Oh no, commandos, commandos are going for the decap. Libby, do the um, special attack. Oh, okay, uh, to get the knob leader of the commandos. Oh no, uh, Bestel has a 1 to 0 cap. He has a 1 to 0 cap. Come on, Riku. Scap. Oh no, it, these commandos cannot be able, uh, should not be capping. If he finishes the cap, the game is over. Oh no. <laughs> I think Bestel has this. Damn. This is Riku's game though. Oh, librarian. What are you doing? Damn. Dude, be <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, Riku threw at the end a little bit. I, I, I assume I, I know it's uh, really uh, micro intensive and it's uh, really hard, but uh, Riku threw a little, a little bit at, and in the end, just best new court. Yeah. Went for <laughs> the cheeky decap. Damn. It's a superior Korean micro man. Definitely superior micro there. And yeah, good job by Riku just coming back to this game. Ah. Uh, yeah. Damn. Anyway, GG. I can't believe that Riku uh, break through that army. That was uh, that was really tough. That was really hard to break through those. Oh. Anyway, I guess um, having a victory is the important part. Level four, level three. Four, yeah, these units at the end got doubled up really nice. Level 4 Libby. Level 7 Mechboy without <laughs> any weapon. Level 4 Slugboys, yeah, I, I think uh, the beginning of the fall was losing that Stormboys, but uh, yeah. Anyway, GG's. So what happens in tier 1? Um, I guess Riku is good and uh, has a good map control in tier 2 though. Suddenly, uh, Slugganop leader and Stormward Lab leader uh, change everything. The Ward Frog takes care of the Razorback with really good micro and using um, Cult of Speed and Mordaka. And then um, that's the start of a fall for Riku. Riku suddenly uh, struggles. Uh, the uh, Assault Squad can't do anything. He's bleeding a lot. And um, Bestum suddenly goes tier 3 and gets double looted tanks. And Riku is hurt still a little bit, but has some uh, good map controls. Stengard Veterans, I think, helps. And uh, he goes for the side capping on the right side. And he has uh, one very good engagement. He lost the plasma cannon as well, getting harassed by the Storm Boys constantly. He went for the victory points. But uh, in tier 3, he had the good engagement. Unfortunately, at the end, the commandos just snatched the victory right from uh, Riku's grasp. And uh, yeah, that was the game. Anyway, Commander score def definitely this make boy. Wow, killed the apothecary four times, but you know what? Lama's blessing. 50 units lost. Wow. Uh, for, a set, for a space man, it's, it's a lot, but uh, I guess it's a uh, long game. And uh, yeah, but Rico had a really good in unit score, especially towards the end, killing the looted tank and uh, killing all those units. And uh, perhaps a pain boy, I don't know. The end. And Nob Squad would have helped a, a lot. I think maybe instead of the second looted tank. And uh, yeah, would have really hurt Riku. He was already struggling versus melee, so. Anyway, um, would have gotten um, Plasma Gun, but yeah. Anyhow, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, and. Uh, I'm gonna couple. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cover uh, a bunch of. A bunch more of the playoffs, and uh, this is it. This is the first one. Until next time, this has been Rostam. Take care and Godspeed. See you later, brothers.